Hello and welcome to my video. For today's recipe, you're gonna need uh, a little bit of dried catnip, a canned tuna, a large egg, and some oatmeal powder. But first, let's preheat our oven to 200 degrees C and let's start to mix our ingredients together. I actually don't have oatmeal powder, so I blended the oatmeal that I have in the blender. It's a really easy recipe, you just need to add all of the ingredients into a bowl. We need to drain all of the oil or water from the tuna out. And then I'm gonna use just one tablespoon of the tuna oil that we just uh, drained and discard the rest. Add in a one tablespoon of dried catnip. And then just mix everything together. Onto your baking tray, add in a baking sheet. The mixture is actually a little bit wet for me, so I'm going to add in here half a tablespoon of cornstarch. I'll leave the final ingredients uh, in the description box below, don't worry. Make them into small little balls and then press them down so that they're flat. They're going to cook quicker like this. And this is a customer for today. She's taking her afternoon nap, as always. The first batch is finished. I'm making my second batch, but somehow I forgot to press them on the first batch. So <laughs> this is our result. It's a little bit chewy on the inside and it's crispy on the outside. I think it's going to be very good for their gums. If they're too big for your cat, you can also break them down into smaller pieces. It's actually very easy to break, as you can see. Okay, now let's have a taste test. She was actually a little bit hesitant at first, which I'm not surprised because she's a quite picky eater, but she seems to like it by the end. <laughs> 